is that all the coefficients are even. Um, well, here, for example, are the, oh, I should have mentioned, notice that the coefficient of q to the sixth is eight, so that means there are eight of these of even length, and here I've written down the eight of them, and uh, I should, I mean, uh, it's not all that difficult to see combinatorially why they're an even number. Uh, namely, if you just reverse them, uh, then everything is, uh, you, you have a pair. So here's 4002, here's 2004. So these two are paired, these two are paired. Uh, of course, unfortunately, if you reverse this one, it's the same thing, so you have to be a little careful there. But in that case, if there are two zeros in the middle, you take them out. And so this will pair with this. And if there aren't two zeros in the middle, you put them in. And so the last two pair. And so it is obvious that you can pair up all of these uh, partitions. The only partition you can't do this with is the empty partition of zero. And that is why it's the only one with an odd number of CCDLs. Uh, how does the proof go? Well, I'm not going to drag you totally through the proof. I will just give the highlights of what's happening. So the part that's related to the terminating uh, three, general 3P2 three is a given on row 2. Of course, this is not, not a, this is a beta n that satisfies the first order recurrence but it is an example of restricting myself to false theta functions. This is the, uh, the summation formula necessary in order to put together the things, that this, the standard Bailey method in order to prove the, the, the theorem. Now, naturally, one might ask, what are the, uh, what are the, Concave compositions of odd length. Are there similar theorems there? The answer is uh, that for those, there are two types of odd length compositions, concave compositions that are that produce interesting false theta function results. So I say they come in two flavors. So the first flavor is where the middle part is in effect unique. It is this AR plus one. And uh, in the second case, flavor two, the middle part is not unique. And so the, the b's starting out to the right might actually be equal to uh, the, the a's. Uh, so here is flavor one. Uh, and its generating function is uh, this. So this is another false theta series. I did not write on the screen what it was, but it, it is basically a, uh, if you were to change all the signs to plus, uh, it is uh, equal to an instance of Jacobi's triple product, and so it would come out to be a, a an infinite product related to the modulus 6, or no, it's related to the modulus 12, uh, but, but the signs are wrong here, so the numerator does not come to an infinite product, and uh, you see the series expansion up to q to the 6th, and down below I've written flavor 1 concave compositions related for the, the number 6, uh, so that is flavor 1. Flavor two, uh, the uh, the generating function is another uh, false theta series, and uh, obviously the restrictions on uh, on the flavor two are weaker than those on flavor one, so that all of the all of the concave compositions of odd length and flavor one are this all also a flavor two. But in addition, there are possible repeats in the middle sum and the one just to the right. 
and I've listed the other six at the bottom of the screen. So that this gives you an example of these sorts of things. So this, so basically what I've tried to do this morning is to restrict myself to applications of the uh, classical orthogonal polynomials to uh, false theta series in order to uh, give the underdog a chance, as you might say. Uh, I did. So basically my life is a little hectic at the moment. So <laughs> there is, there is a, a little, so this constitutes a, a sort of small chapter in this s subject. The a much longer chapter, and one that is currently being written mostly in airports throughout the country, uh, is, uh, relates to the fact that there are numerous instances where the 